we are going to do a stage five shift and tune a maxed out stage six shift and tune we're going to do a live racing setup we're going to do a review on the car so hey let's find out if this thing's any good if you like the csr2 content don't forget to hit that like and subscribe just click click real quick it only takes a second when you have the car 100 percent maxed out this is the way we're going to shift it tune it and drive it nitrous at 185 and 4.2 final drive 2.27 tires on 26 psi with a 54 and a 46 up top and that's going to give us a dyno of a 6.844 to drive this car when it's maxed out we're going to let go of the gas right before we hit number one after launch pretty much instantly shift into second gear nitrous on third and all the rest of the shifts right before the red line three two one go second third and nitrous fourth gear and that's all she wrote very easy car to drive very fast so far so good i would say and we just ran a 6.687 i keep getting in the 6.68 i do notice a couple people online are driving it different than i am but this is what's giving me the better times now most of the guys that hit the world record the very fastest times with these cars are using a little program to shift the cars for them that way they're launched their shifts everything is 100 percent perfect i shift these by hand so i'm always just a little bit slower it's almost impossible to hit the world record time guys so let's go do a maxed out stage 5 shift and tune when you have all these stage 5 parts installed and stage 1 through 5 filled with fusions nitrous all the way to the right Final drive 3.25, tire pressure on 26 PSI with a 54 and a 46 up top, and that will put us at a 9.838 on the dyno time. To drive this car on stage 5, you're going to want to try and get a perfect start, so let go of the gas just a little bit before number 1, instantly shift in the second and hit your nitrous all the rest of the shifts right before the red line three two one go second nitrous third gear fourth gear and that's pretty much all she wrote so there we go there we go there we go very easy car to drive and we ran a 9.573 the last one was 9.576 so hey not too bad so i found a lower upgrade tune that's going to give you double the evo as the performance point so it might win a few live races i don't think it's going to be the world's best live racing tune but this should win a couple here and there i mean it should be decent not excellent but probably decent at live so let me go ahead and show you that setup all right so if you want to try to live race this car put your body on stage five put your tires on stage five put your transmission on stage five and all the other parts fit back to stock. To tune it for the live racing setup, that might win a few races here and there, but probably won't be the world's best live racing setup. You're not able to tune the nitrous because we didn't upgrade it. Final drive on 4.19, tire pressure on 26 PSI with a 53 and a 47 up top, and a dyno of a 12.172 so we're going to try and run the car slower than 12.2 to get into the 12.2 lobby we want to run slower than 12.2 but as close to 12.2 as possible to drive this car for the live racing setup let go of the gas right about number two and then all shifts right before the red line no nitrous because we don't have one three two one go second third fourth and you're probably going to, want to downshift once or twice before you finish the cro cross the finish line not finish the cross line because well it will run faster than 12.2 so you want to go downshift downshift right before crossing the finish line and then keep it in the 12.2 lobby because right now we're we're beating the dyno by about two tenths of a second and if you do that, well, live racing, this car will get pushed into a lobby where it can't win anymore after a few races. This video is made possible by Asho Speed the King. Make sure you check him out on YouTube. Oh man, I can't stop sneezing over here, but we're about to do a review on this thing. I think this is a very nice car. The top speed is good. The acceleration is good. It's capable of beat the dyno. I'm pretty sure you can tune it to beat the dyno by a pretty decent amount if you need to 
when it comes to the low performance point high evo setup i'm not so sure it's going to be the greatest live racer for that but if you get it to beat dino you can beat live races or i should say win live races by beating the dino but there is one problem with that the way live racing is currently set up if you're winning live races when beating the dino after so many races, or so many wins I should say, the game is going to pick up your car and push it into the next faster lobby. After so many wins beating the dyno, it's going to pick it up and push it into the next faster lobby again. And after three or four times of that, the car is not going to be able to win live races anymore. So what you need to do in order to fix that, win a couple live races, lose a couple live races. Win a couple, lose a couple. So you pretty much want to you know win a couple and then the next couple races run slower than the dyno and lose maybe win and lose an even amount that should keep the car from being pushed but if you're constantly winning the live races while beating the dyno next thing you know the car is incapable of winning anymore and then you're in a very very bad spot then you have to try and reset the car which is not easy to do these days but this car is hitting 372 miles per hour which is not bad 0 to 60 and 0 0.5, 0 to 100 and 0 0.8, and it's doing 6.6s, guys. It's a very, very good, very fast car. It's probably not going to be my choice for live racing, but everything else about this car is really darn good. Really good. So is this car worth winning and upgrading? Well, for live racing, eh, maybe. For everyday everything else use, definitely. Very good car overall, just probably not going to be my top choice for live racing but i do like the car a lot it looks cool it's good in a lot of different ways it's just an all-around cool car in my opinion it does have purple stars it is a pontiac so it's not going to be something you're going to be having a whole bunch of fusion parts laying around for you're going to have to open crates with real money to get parts for this car that's the only other issue but it's a very cool car. So yeah, I like it. I think it's a very cool car. So there was our shift, tune, review, stage five, stage six, live racing setup and review. I, I don't know. I think I already said review, but you guys know what I mean. If you guys would like to know what equipment I'm using to make these videos, you know, I'll tag all that stuff plus some other stuff that I recommend if you want to make some content right on this video just click the little shopping tab that pops up on the screen you'll see all my equipment or at least some of it plus some other stuff that i think is great that's cheaper it's taken me years to slowly piece together a really nice youtube studio so i can make high quality content for you guys so thank you so much for watching my videos thank you to the channel members i appreciate you guys so much the extra support really helps if you would like to become a channel member click the little join button it's right below the video next to the like and subscribe so click the join button to become a monthly channel member and help this channel keep going and bringing you awesome csr2 content if you want to find my discord server my other youtube channel some other ways to help support the channel and some links to some other really cool stuff if you don't see anything you like on the shopping tab you know, check out the video's description. Drop that description down. You'll find some game news, some info, and all kinds of stuff in there. Thank you so much for watching. Maybe check out one of these other videos that is going to pop up on the screen right about now. I am Optimus Prime, and Autobots roll out.